Hi folks, happy uh, June 20, uh, 29th, 2017. It's a Saturday, it's the second Saturday of my camping trip, day eight. Uh, it's cold this morning, it's about 55 degrees. That's why I'm wearing the hoodie and the vest because there's a breeze and it just feels pretty cool. Hey, at least the sun's out though. I got some blue sky and uh, it feels like a nice autumn day even though it's the end of June or July when it should be almost the hottest time of the year. All week it's been pretty rainy and muddy and uh, just not very good weather for my vacation. But uh, it's actually been pretty constant this summer. It's been a very wet summer, fairly cool summer. Uh, compared to last year, it was warm and sunny. Actually, last year it was warm, but it wasn't all that humid. I thought last summer was delightful. It was great. It was a great vacation last summer. Uh, because of the the cold and the wet, I hadn't got a chance to see as much as I wanted to see in the Finger Lakes. So I decided to spend my whole week in the Finger Lakes. So I'm still here at the Finger Lakes National Forest uh, through tomorrow when I go back to Albany to you know make money and stuff. Um, so I'll take you on my campsite and then, uh, well, I'll just kind of walk around and I'll show you it. And uh, it's, I pretty much like it usually is. Got the uh, um, lights up. Uh, got the, uh, the stove. I'm making some biscuit biscuits. Got a tent for storage. Got my flags back here. Got my pride flag, my earth flag, because, you know, it's important to care about the earth piece. Don't tread at me, you know, I like my rights, I like having fires and burning things, I like the guns. And so I got my mullen lab flag, among other things, you know. I, I just want people to leave me alone, let me have my space out in the woods, and I mean, that's what's been nice about the Finger Lakes is the only people you ever really see up here off of Chicken Coop Road is a few campers or hikers. I saw a horseback rider, and the main people you see actually is uh, the grazers or the cowboys who uh, are, go out every day to check the cows and make sure they're same number of cows they start out with in the morning and they're around they're not having broken out of the pastures you see up here at the uh, finger lakes national forest uh you know uh, half the land is pasture and half of it is uh forested and i mean they they sell grazing permits to the locals who you know graze their cattle out here it's a great way to make some revenue for the uh you know to pay for the high cost of operating the forest um so yeah here's my truck cap camper Pretty much the same. Try to keep it really neat. A lot of the gear is in the tent, so I wouldn't have to keep tripping over it. That's one thing about when you stay longer, that's why I always set up a tent. Not really for sleeping in it, but just for putting all the gear, you know, the clothes to change into, empty beer cans, uh, empty boxes and stuff that are, you know, for packing stuff. But uh, yeah, uh, this campsite's been relatively dry. Driveway in and out of it is kind of a mess. Um, it's just been so wet. I mean, this driveway is always kind of muddy, and my big heavy truck going over it and backing around the angles, uh, you can see it really kind of has gotten kind of a mud puddle. It'll dry up, though, I'm sure. By the time I'm back up here in a year, it'll be uh, looking nice, and hopefully next year will be a lot drier. Um, next year, I definitely do want to get back out to the Allegheny Wilds, maybe see Erie PA in the summer and just check out those beaches. But other than that, it's a nice campsite. Uh, it pretty much hasn't changed from other years when I've been up here. Um, I don't think I'll be back to the Finger Lakes till next April at the earliest. This fall I'm going down to Pennsylvania and then to West Virginia and maybe do the Iowa Pile uh, State Park in Pennsylvania and then I want to do some of the Blue Ridge Parkway. But uh, yeah, and the only pet peeve I have to say about this campsite is somebody decided to burn a mattress, which I don't care. Uh, but you really shouldn't do it on the National Forest. You burn the garbage, you know, your own land. Have your bonfire. They should have just taken it to the scrap yard and gotten the scrap metal out of it. Cut it up and you have some good scrap metal. I mean, hey, keep it out of landfill. I don't really care, you know, so. Yeah, so here's Chicken Coop Road and uh, here's the pasture across the way, Chicken Coop Road. There's cows out here somewhere if they're just not around right now. But uh, yeah, it's a beautiful day actually after all the rain. And it's a nice campsite. I'm gonna cut you off here because it's a good video.